Time to talk winners and losers with our financial expert, Rob Black. Good morning, Rob. Morning, Daria. Well, would you call things so far a winner or a loser this morning? Loser. Um, I said back in late August that September tends to be a kind of muddy kind of month than it is on Wall Street. No exceptions this year. Um, we're waiting for a Fed meeting that started today to end tomorrow. They're not going to raise interest rates. If they did, it would be a big, big, big surprise. I think the real story that's affecting Wall Street's mentality right now, or the mental health, is oil's near $95.67. It's up three weeks in a row, and it really snuck up on us, which basically means in about a month, we're looking at $7 gasoline again in the Bay Area if these numbers don't turn around. Okay, uh, also catching my eye is... Caviar on Pringles. Now, yeah. this is a bad idea because, first of all, nobody wants one chip. Everybody's eating many chips. And that caviar adds up. Like, this yeah, is, yeah. you know how expensive that is? Sounds yeah. good, though. You know, I've never had caviar. Really? Um, and I feel like I'd be like Tom Hanks from the movie Big. Um, but the TikTok thing strikes again. So on TikTok, there's been caviar and uh, collaboration with uh, Pringles. Mm -hmm. $140 for a tube of uh, Pringles plus the caviar. <laughs> and it's gotten 10 billion views, Daria. Yeah, but is, are people buying it is the question. I mean, you're obviously paying. Oh, yeah. The caviar is going to be 120 for that little tiny container. So they're throwing in the Pringles for free. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I think that's the right way of saying it. I just think, again, this shows you how strong companies like Pepsi are that have snack brands and TikTok users and influencers are getting the eyeballs, which is good for uh, their revenue. Um, but mm. you can't buy 10 billion views if you're Pringles. That's an amazing brand. And, yeah. you know, have my kids bought stuff off TikTok? More on that in a second. Okay. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's a pretty powerful platform. Okay. I would say if you're serving caviar, it would be very gauche to serve it with a Pringle. Like people immediately would be like, mm. you have to have it on a, it's called a Bellini. It's like a little baby pancake. It looks like tiny, tiny. And you put a little creme fraiche on there. But I digress. Okay. <laughs> I'm more worried about paying for Disney because I'm hearing that if Disney is going to invest a bunch of money and fix the parks, which I love Disneyland, then the tickets are just going to go up. Well, that's the long-term assumption. In the short term, uh, people aren't going to the Florida parks, neither Disney or Universal. They're going. They're just not going as often, and there's not as many people, so the lines are a little bit better. So now's a good time to book because you're right. Disney said they're going to up their budget from $3 billion to uh, $6 billion. So they're going to do, um, that's over 10 years. It's doubling the investment, and it's just going to improve the quality, maybe better rides. Um, internationally, Disney's doing great. Um, I just read a review of a French man, uh, not a French man, but a European man taking his family of four to Disney um, Paris. And uh, he was like shocked it was $5,000 to get it to the front of the lines and have a, you know, a weekend with his kids. Uh, Whoa. It's a lot of money. You're right. Oh, my gosh. All right, yeah. And as we're talking about fancy stuff, um, like, you know, uh, caviar and Disney, I am more, Target is my speed. So give me the update on what's going on. With, so I spent a lot of time at Target. Yeah, I, I like Target, too, with their Target Red Card, which ties into your um, bank account, gives you 5% off on all purchases. So if you do spend a lot of money there, Daria, get the Red Card. Um, Circle Week, which is their big holiday kickoff event, um, back in 2019, it started on November 8th. Last year, it started on October 6th. This year, it's going to start on October 1. Um, they're beating Walmart and Amazon to the punch by one week. There's a, an expectation that we're heading towards a recession or a big slowing in retail. And like you and I talked yesterday, that's true from January through August. So uh, Target's just trying to get those consumer purses open early mm. because uh, it tends to tail off in the last couple of weeks. MasterCard said total spend this year will be up about 3.7%, which is kind of like inflation. Mm -hmm. So that's not a lot of new new spending. It's about the same as last year. Last year was up about 7.8%, but that was also tied towards inflationary numbers. Um, not a lot of new spending. So the economy is a little freaked out with inflation and we're starting to see a little slowdown. I admit I shop either really early like now uh, for the holidays or really late. And I just got a pair of Allbirds slippers, which is uh, an Allbirds in San Francisco. And it's a very new thing. Cause check that shoe out. You're going to like it. It's made of wool. Okay. But, uh, but I don't have a TikTok to tell you what to buy. So let's go back to TikTok and how people are, you know, basically using it as a, as a platform, not just for social media, but for shopping. 
Yeah, it's big. $71 billion spent on social media purchases last year. 48% of social media users have bought. Uh, my family bought some Eargasm uh, audio buds that kind of drown out noises at concert because my son is a little noise sensitive. Oh. Um, love that purchase. But then he bought a Slurpee cup as well that turns like sodas into slushies in your freezer. Used it five times and now it's in a junk pile somewhere in the world. <laughs> so 68% um, so of purchases on social media are regrets ultimately, oh. even though 48% of social media users have bought in the last five years. Um, it's worthy of note. It's, 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 these are big numbers. Um, you know, $754 is the average spend if you are spending on purchases on TikTok and other social media platforms. So um, I just throw that down there is it's a $71 billion business, which is bigger than a lot of GDPs of smaller countries in the world. And yeah, like, like when people make products now, they don't even bother having ads on TV or just right. anywhere. They just sell it on Instagram. Or TikTok or whatever. That's it. That's the only Pringles way you and can caviar. Get it. It's my it's my new go to staple. Chunks Which, as seen on Instagram <laughs> or TikTok. All right, I'll come to your house. We'll have a little. It may be a 49ers party. I'm, I'm in. Okay. So it's, it's it looks like a good season. All right. Yeah, I don't watch the game, so I'll definitely be an annoyance. Okay. Well, <laughs> We'll see. I'm always trying to talk to people during the 49ers game. If you would like to uh, talk with Rob, you can send him an email, uh, reach him on Facebook or X.